Um, a few days ago, I read an article titled, How COVID Has Affected Our Friendships. Um, kind of lengthy. I um, don't have time to get into all of it today, but uh, a lot of what I'm going to talk about today is in that article. Uh, it was called, How COVID Has Affected Our Friendships and What to Do About It. Uh, the link is in the post details for this. Good morning. Today's uh, Thursday, January 13th, 2022. Uh, when social media started, it was supposed to keep us connected and perhaps in a way it has you know with people that we live farther away from or haven't seen in a long time but the other thing it's done is it has made us less likely to have face-to-face -face conversations um, and it's also encouraged difficult conversations things that people would never say to someone's face trolling i guess would be the way to describe that um, and instead of us finding a larger community to feel a part of it's really just polarized us into thousands of smaller ones um, the reason I say that is because it's now possible for you to find groups of people who agree with you and listen only to them and fall deeper and deeper into that mindset and that way of thinking um, to the exclusion of others who might think differently. Uh, I know for many years now, uh, pastors, including myself, have lamented that people in our congregations are more shaped by social media and news coverage rather than a sermon that we'd give on a Sunday or even by the Word of God in a community of believers. Uh, I remember as a youth pastor we used to say to parents uh, that you can't expect us to fix in an hour or two a week what they've been taught at home and in school the rest of the week. That principle applies to adults as well. Uh, and this pandemic has forced us to rely even more on social media and less on personal friendships. So that's the point that the article is getting at. And it, this has increased our movements towards social isolation and loneliness. Um, studies are showing that this pandemic has created an epidemic of loneliness. But here's where I'm going today. I want to sum up with this just for this final minute. Uh, the King James, Vern King James Version of the Bible, which I grew up with, translated Proverbs 18.24 as a man that has friends must show himself friendly. And that still rings in my head, and that's why I titled this today, because that's what I was thinking of. But if you look that up in most other versions, it's not translated that way. Uh, other versions emphasize that uh, having many friends is not as important as having a close friend. Uh, and I would suggest that you, know, you can have a lot of friends and not really be close to any of them. So here's the challenge where we want to finish for today. Um, remember your close friends and friendships. Um, call someone that you need to reconnect with today and set up a time for coffee or lunch. Um, and I do want to give the article that I mentioned above uh, has four steps about being a friend uh, that I just want to throw out for us today. Show up and be consistent, first of all. A good friend will show up regularly when you need them. Secondly, be the initiative taker and the space creator. Be the one that initiates that conversation. Give the person space to express themselves uh, to their frustrations, uh, disappointments, all those sorts of things. Uh, thirdly, said cultivate friendships outside your tribe. Uh, seek the friendship, knowledge, and experience of someone who is not like you, who doesn't think that way. Uh, something that social media does not do. Uh, maybe follow someone on Twitter that you disagree with. Uh, and fourthly, um, have patience, uh, just things that friends normally do. So I wanted to challenge you with that today. Um, moving forward, I'm not sure how often I'm going to post these. As always, we'd love you to like, comment, share. Let us know what your thoughts are, what, what your questions are. Um, um, and I am more able to tell you what the Bible says about things than about what politics or many other things tell us. So anyway, thanks for being here. Uh, that's today's Three for Thursday. It went a little bit over today, uh, but I'll end with this. Hang in there. Uh, help someone. Hope remains. We'll see you soon.